one of the things we think about is, uh, oh, someone with Alzheimer's will start losing their memory. And yes, that's true. They'll start forgetting words or names, and, but we all do that. They may lose their keys, but there's some more, per, more dominant or more uh, significant things that can occur. Even before memory loss, there's a slowing, a general slowing that researchers can pick up. Slower gaits, shorter steps, decreased hand grip, inability to get up from a chair and go quickly. Those are things that can be measured and are somewhat predictive. Additionally, in terms of behavioral signs and symptoms, it's not just the simple things like word loss or forgetting names, but things like getting lost when someone's out or inability to handle finances or more importantly, loss of ability to maintain one's appearance. Those are less subtle signs, but ones that can be overlooked by family members who may be so accustomed to seeing the person that they don't see the gradual transition. Oftentimes it's people who see people less often who will notice the sudden change. I think it's important to, if possible, pick up on early signs and symptoms so you can have discussions when the person is still cognitively intact and coherent enough to want to manage the problem. If you wait too long, then it becomes an issue of uh, the person may be resistant to care or incapable of making critical decisions but not allowing you to help uh, any kind of productive intervention.